What's going on guys? We're gonna talk about my camera rig today. Um, I shoot on the Fujifilm X-T3. Uh, I don't have the lens on right now because the lens is on my other Fujifilm X-T3, um, but I have the Sigma uh, 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8. The base of it is the, uh, obviously the camera, the X-T3. Then I have the Tilted Cage with it. Um, but the, I was having a problem with the cage working how I wanted it to with this rig. Um, but I later bought a small rig adapter piece um, for the rails because I had this handheld rig. So this handheld part with like the blue handle and the rails and the top part and the side part here were all one piece that I got from a, a friend quite a while ago. I just hadn't really used it that much. But as I was trying to put together my handheld rig for this, I wanted to be able to do something that I could uh, have on uh, sticks and then pop off to go handheld easily. And I can also rig out with like a monitor and battery support. I have the anchor battery back here. This basically allows me to power my camera for quite a, quite a while actually. Um, this was actually recommended on Fuji's website. Um, and I, you know, during research came across it and uh, this is the PD, uh, USB PD. It will continuously charge the battery of the camera while the camera is running, which is really good because um, the Fujifilm X-C3, even though I really like this camera, the battery life is horrendous. You might be able to get an hour, maybe. And that's if you keep turning your camera on and off, maybe you can get an hour. I've ran situations I really haven't been able to get that much out of it. In doing video shoots, photography, you might be a little bit more. Um, but I haven't done quite as many full day photography shoots as I have as video. So I'd be in situations where I'd be shooting and then I would have to take the battery out for a while, charge it while we're setting up for another, for another uh, shot or something like that. And that's not really what you want to have to do. It's not a good situation to be in when you're relying on a battery that can probably only last an hour. Uh, when you're shooting. And I shoot pretty much everything max out. I shoot on 4K, uh, H265 um, with 10 bit, shooting F log as well. You, know, you wanna have something like this or a uh, V mount battery or something like that that can power it externally. This was just a uh, easy thing to get for my current setups. I didn't have to buy a whole new um, V mount and all those things to kind of change my workflow and you also can power other things as well so you can power from what i've seen from other people's videos you can power multiple cameras off of it um you have usb c and then you have two uh regular usb ports uh, my camera takes usb c so i can just plug it in here usb c plug it in and i can also charge other things off of it as well i've done a shoot that was about six hours since having this and it was like I was uh, continuously shooting for like six hours because it was like an event um, and I didn't run out of battery, which was really nice. And this and this in itself lasts a while. So even I was I had forgot to charge it one time and I had like uh, one or two bars left. And I was like, oh, my gosh. But it charged my camera enough for what I had to do. The event wasn't that long. It was like a couple of hours. So uh, and charges pretty quick, too. It doesn't take, it does not take that long. I have a the Phil World monitor. So it's really a nice monitor. It's not like anything super crazy, but it's good for reference. It has false colors on it. Um, I don't see that many people talk about it, but I actually really like it. It's really good um, for, for what I need to do. I have no complaints with this monitor. Like I said, false colors, uh, waveform, histogram. Uh, you can do, um, you can also put on your like uh, aspect ratio. So if you're shooting in, uh, 16 by nine or a wider screen format. You can put it in that or four by three letterbox type situation. You can do that as well. Then attached with that, I have a Israeli arm and these are just really cool. You loosen it and they're pretty flexible. You kind of bend it to go whichever way you want it to go in. Also from small rig. I also normally will have a uh, mic with the windscreen on my setup as well. I currently have that on my other camera, so I can do this video. But yeah, it's super simple, nothing crazy. This works for me for what I needed to do. The only thing I want to do is get a better way to mount this to my camera because that's the only thing that sometimes will slide off the rail because I'm really only holding it by some um, Velcro. 
Maybe if I use zip ties, I might be better, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. But this is where I'm at um, with my setup right now. Like I said, been like piece by piece building it out, um, but it's secure. That's, that's the main thing, like to make sure the camera is not going to fall off. It's in there, it's locked in. Um, I, I had to find, you can see in the video, I had to find some interesting way to connect it. I had to buy extra screws and things like that to connect it because the small rig uh, does not natively work with the Tilta. When I bought the Tilta cage, it did not come with the base plate. I didn't realize that that was missing. Uh, I bought it used. And then, so that's why I've been, I haven't been able to find uh, another one to replace it with. But yeah, if you have any questions about photo, video, or anything like that, uh, leave them down below. If you wanna know more about uh, my camera setup or anything, just leave them in the comments and I will answer your questions. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.